Efforts to have sites on Valencia Island in South Kerry granted UNESCO World Heritage status have been stepped up. Today the island commemorated the 151st anniversary of the successful laying of the first transatlantic cable from there to Newfoundland. In July 1866, the Great Eastern Ship left Valencia Island en route to Newfoundland. Along the 3,000 kilometre journey, it laid the first transatlantic cable. Communications was changed forever. It was an extraordinary achievement in its time, and it would be equivalent to putting a man on the moon. That, that was the, 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 the level of what they achieved. Now efforts to get UNESCO World Heritage status for places on the island associated with the project are being stepped up. We've made some great progress in assessing uh, how, how, value, how valid this particular project is and we're delighted to be able to say that we would be in the top 1% worldwide in terms of the significance of the site as an industrial heritage site. Today a renowned American economist told a gathering here the laying of the cable was a central part of globalisation. Every once in a while in history something happens and it it propels globalization to heights that no one could ever have conceived of. And this was one of those events because it, it sped up communication in a way that no, one, they, they, no one could have imagined. Behind me, Skellig Michael, just one of three UNESCO World Heritage Sites on the island of Ireland. But for many who believe 151 years on that what happened with the establishment of the first transatlantic cable link from here to North America was a monumental achievement, they are hopeful that this island will join the elite UNESCO World List. Geraldine Harney, RT News, Valencia Island.